eddy covariance. The eddy covariance, also known as eddy correlation and eddy flux technique, is a key atmospheric measurement technique to measure and calculate vertical turbulent fluxes within atmospheric boundary layers. The method analyses high frequency wind and scalar atmospheric data series gas, energy, and momentum, which yields values of fluxes of these properties. It is a statistical method used in meteorology and other applications, micrometeorology, oceanography, hydrology, agricultural sciences, industrial and regulatory applications, etc., to determine exchange rates of trace gases over natural ecosystems and agricultural fields, and to quantify gas emissions rates from other land and it is frequently used to estimate momentum heat, water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane fluxes. The technique is also used extensively for verification and tuning of global climate models, mesoscale and weather models, complex biogeochemical and ecological models, and remote sensing estimates from satellites and aircraft. The technique is mathematically complex and requires significant care in setting up and processing data. To date, there is no uniform terminology or a single methodology for the eddy covariance technique, but much effort is being made by flux measurement networks, e.g. FluxNet, MRI Flux, ICOS, Carbo Europe, FluxNet Canada, OzFlux, Neon, and iLeaps to unify the various approaches. The technique has additionally proven applicable underwater to the benthic zone for measuring oxygen fluxes between the seafloor and overlying water. In these environments, the technique is generally known as the eddy correlation technique or just eddy correlation. Oxygen fluxes are extracted from raw measurements largely following the same principles as used in the atmosphere, and they are typically used as a proxy for carbon exchange, which is important for local and global carbon budgets. For most benthic ecosystems, eddy correlation is the most accurate technique for measuring in situ fluxes. The technique's development and its applications underwater remains a fruitful area of research. General Principles Representation of the airflow in the atmospheric boundary layer Airflow can be imagined as a horizontal flow of numerous rotating eddies, that is, turbulent vortices of various sizes, with each eddy having horizontal and vertical components. The situation looks chaotic but vertical movement of the components can be measured from the tower. Physical meaning Summary The 3D wind, and another variable usually gas concentration, temperature or momentum are decomposed into mean and fluctuating components. The covariance is calculated between the fluctuating component of the vertical wind and the fluctuating component of gas concentration. The measured flux is proportional to the covariance. The area from which the detected eddies originate is described probabilistically and called a flux footprint. The flux footprint area is dynamic in size and shape, changing with wind direction, thermal stability and measurements height, and has a gradual border. The effect of sensor separation, finite sampling length, sonic path averaging, as well as other instrumental limitations, affect frequency response of the measurement system and may need a co-spectral correction, especially noticeable with closed path instruments and at low heights below 1 to 1.5 m. Mathematical Foundation Major Assumptions Measurements at a point can represent an upwind area. Measurements are done inside the boundary layer of interest. Fetch slash flux footprint is adequate fluxes are measured only at area of interest. Flux is fully turbulent. Most of the net vertical transfer is done by eddies. Terrain is horizontal and uniformed. Average of fluctuations is zero. Density fluctuations negligible. Flow convergence and divergence negligible. Instruments can detect very small changes at high frequency, ranging from minimum of 5 hc and to 40 hc for tower-based measurements. Software. As of 2011, there were many software programs to process eddy covariance data and derive quantities such as heat, momentum, and gas fluxes. The programs range significantly in complexity, flexibility, number of allowed instruments, and variables, help system and user support. 
Some programs are open source software, while others are closed source or proprietary. Examples include commercial software with free license for non-commercial use such as Edi Pro, open source free programs such as EC Otwo S and EC Pack, free closed source packages such as Edi Re TK3, Altedi, and Edi Soft. Uses Common uses Greenhouse gas emissions Carbon dioxide emission monitoring Methane emissions monitoring Monitoring Measuring water loss evapotranspiration Instantaneous water use efficiency Instantaneous radiation use efficiency novel uses Precision irrigation Precision agriculture 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 Carbon sequestration and capture monitoring Landfill gas emissions into the atmosphere Emissions of gases displaced by hydraulic fracturing into the atmosphere Gas leak detection and location Methane emission from permafrost regions Biogenic VOC emission Reactive trace gas exchange flux measurement Common applications Cations Evapotranspiration Remote sensing is an approach to modeling evapotranspiration using an energy balance and the latent heat flux to find evapotranspiration rates. Evapotranspiration ET is a part of the water cycle, and accurate ET readings are important to local and global models to manage water resources. ET rates are an important part of research in hydrology-related fields, as well as for farming practices. MOD-16 is an example of a program which measures ET best for temperate climates. Micrometeorology Micrometeorology focuses climate study on the specific vegetation canopy scale, again with applications to hydrological and ecologic research. In this context, eddy covariance can be used to measure heat mass flux in the boundary surface layer or in the boundary layer surrounding the vegetation canopy. The effects of turbulence may, for example, be of specific interest to climate modelers or those studying the local ecosystem. Wind speed, turbulence, and mass heat concentration are values that could be recorded in a flux tower. Through measurements related to eddy covariance properties such as roughness coefficients may be empirically calculated with applications to modeling. Wetland Ecosystems Systems Wetland vegetation varies widely and varies from plant to plant ecologically. Primary plant existence in wetlands can be monitored by using eddy covariance technology in conjunction with nutrient supply information by monitoring net C aqua and H2O fluxes. Readings can be taken from flux towers over a number of years to determine water use efficiency among others. Greenhouse gases and their warming effect Fluxes of greenhouse gases from vegetation and agricultural fields can be measured by eddy covariance as referenced in micrometeorology section above. By measuring vertical turbulent flux of gas states of H2O, CO2, heat, and CH4 among other volatile organic compounds monitoring equipment can be used to infer canopy interaction. Landscape-wide interpretations can be then inferred using the above data. High operational cost, weather limitations, some equipment is better suited for certain climates, and their resulting technical limitations may limit measurement accuracy. Vegetation production in terrestrial ecosystems. Vegetation production models require accurate ground observations in this context from eddy covariant flux measurement. Eddy covariance is used to measure the net primary production and gross primary productions of plant populations. Advancements in technology have allowed for minor fluctuations resulting in a scale of 100 minus 2,000 meter measurements of air mass and energy readings. Study of the carbon cycle on vegetated growth and production is vitally important to both growers and scientists. Using such information carbon flux between ecosystems and the atmosphere can be observed with applications ranging from climate change to weather models. 
related methods, 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 did methods. Eddy accumulation, true eddy accumulation, elation. The true eddy accumulation technique can be used to measure fluxes of trace gases for which there are no fast enough analyzers available, thus where the eddy covariance technique is unsuitable. The basic idea is that upwards moving air parcels updrafts and downwards moving air parcels downdrafts are sampled proportionally to their velocity into separate reservoirs. A slow response gas analyzer can then be used to quantify the average gas concentrations in both updraft and downdraft reservoirs. Relaxed eddy accumulation. The main difference between the true and the relaxed eddy accumulation technique is that the latter samples air with a constant flow rate that is not proportional to the vertical wind speed 